In this video, we're going to go through the payroll reporting function in the DaySmart Pet program. To navigate to the payroll screen, you're going to click up at the top where it says More. That's going to pull up a drop down for you. And then you're going to go down to the stack of dollars that is the payroll function. So let's go ahead and click on that and open up the payroll screen. And the first thing that it's saying to us is uh, it, it's saying that the payroll configuration is required. Uh, so what it wants us to do is set up the wage and commission rates for the employees before we can calculate the commission report. To go into the wages and commission screen, I would click down here on where it says wages and commission at the bottom, or underneath the name of the person who's logged in, I can click on where it says wages and commission up here. Let's go ahead and click there and pull up that screen. All right. Now, the first thing that you can do is you could actually add in a commission profile. And a profile is going to be something that can apply to multiple employees to make setting up this commission a little easier. So let's go ahead and hit this add profile. All right. And then we'll go ahead and put in a profile for bather. And we could put in a fixed commission rate here, right? So we put in that fixed commission rate like so. I have the more advanced payroll function, so I could do a sliding scale. Uh, let's skip that for the time being and just put in a fixed rate of 50% for this profile. And then down here at the bottom, I would put in a fixed rate for the product commission. So the first one was services. This is going to be products. We'll go ahead and put that in as 10%. And once I've added in the values I need for this profile, I'm ready to go ahead and hit save at the bottom of the screen and then save that profile into, into my list of profiles up here. Now, moving ahead, if I click on the employee's name down at the bottom, I can then pull up that employee's profile and choose whether I whether or not I want to manually add in the hourly uh, rate, the service commission rate, and the product commission rate, or I can choose to use one of these profiles. So if I wanted to apply one of the profiles, I click on it, hit change, it's going to apply those rates on here for me automatically. Uh, now let's go back and do it custom though. So I'm going to hit none here, and that should take me back to uh, the screen where I put in the values. And let's go ahead and we can add an hourly rate for this person. So let's say that they get, let's say 10. Uh, and then down here, uh, we could put in a, a fixed rate. So let's say, uh, uh, let's do 25% for services. Uh, wait, no, we'll do 25% for that. And then we'll scroll down here and we'll do 10% for products. So let's go ahead and set this up for Kim. All right, so we're gonna click into here and then we should be able to just add in 10% onto this, like so. And then if I scroll down a little further, once I've done adding those values, I go ahead and I hit save. All right, let's hit save to save that commission profile. There you go, you can see it right there. Now, in order for the other employees to show up on the commission report, you would just click on their names and do the same for them, adding in their commission rates or hourly rates, depending on how they get paid. Now, before we actually run the commission report or the payroll report, uh, I'm going to go through some of these other settings. So up at the top, if I click on where it says back bar and bonus, this is where you can add in a bonus amount or a back bar amount into the program. So if I were to choose a service from the top here, you'll get an idea of what this is about. I would scroll through and find a service. And let's say that this de-skunk treatment had a special bonus or back bar amount that was applied to it. So the bonus amount would be an additional amount of money on top of the employee's commission that they just get, the icing on the cake for performing that service. Uh, and I, this would be a dollar amount, so I could click into here and I could add in a dollar amount, let's say it's two dollars, kind of a good bonus for that service. And then in the back bar amount, this is where you would uh, put in fees. And these would be fees that were used for in-shop supplies and they're gonna be taken off of the price paid before commission is applied to it or after, kind of depending on what you set up uh, down here at the bottom of the screen. So for instance, if I were to put in here a $1 back bar charge for products used, then when the commission was calculated for this person, instead of getting 50% of $15, 50% of, of $14. So uh, it just is gonna hit them with a little bit of a fee. All right, let's exit out of this for the time being and go back into your payroll settings up at the top of the screen and let's continue cruising right along. It is gonna to wanna to know the pay cycle frequency, and also, if you want the system to calculate overtime, that's gonna show up right here. So you would put in the criteria that are going to uh, kick somebody into overtime. There's multiple different criteria depending on where you're located. And for the time being though, I will just turn that off. All right, you can also base the uh, commission for uh, products on the retail price or the profit made, depending on what settings you need. I'll leave it set to retail price, that's more common. 
And we'll go ahead and save these settings. And now we're ready to go to the history screen and run through the actual payroll report. So from here, I would just go down to the bottom, hit the plus sign to add a new payroll report. Okay, so once this screen pulls up, I'm gonna go ahead and select the dates that I wanna run this for. Um, so it has the, the start date preset to the end date of my last previous payroll, which is fine. I'll go ahead and just select the dates here that I wanna run this for, and let's just get this whole thing up to date. So I'm gonna actually click all the way through here and put it all the way to uh, today in my calendar. Here we go. And then I'll hit calculate. And it's gonna calculate that based off the values that I gave it for the commission profile. So here's Kim, uh, the only one with the commission profile entered. No wages, because she didn't probably have any working hours. It's gonna automatically calculate the commission. This is products and services added together. It's gonna automatically calculate the tips that are owed to this employee, total them up, uh, and then you know tell you how much you're supposed to pay down here. There is a detailed breakdown here of where these numbers are coming from. You can also print this, that print these details. And then if I click in here on where it says view commission, you have the ability to go in and view all of the different uh, services somebody performed uh, to see how much they were supposed to get in commission in an itemized list and also product commission would show here. This screen can be printed as well. Uh, continuing right along under the main screen, you can export this information or print it right from here. Well, there you have it. That brings us to the end of the information about the payroll reporting functionality. I hope that you found this information helpful and I hope that you have a great day. Call us anytime. Bye now.